we're going to be going through my honest first impressions of my latest purchase from Mossery and how I like to use all of these three different notebooks. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Sky Blue Jenny. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about using graphic design, typography, and productivity. I purchased these notebooks as a kind of break away from the computer. Having something that will take me away from looking at my screen, the browser, when I'm in my browser, I have a website, like media, it goes into a dark rabbit hole. Having notebooks as a way to kind of bring my attention away from the computer and elsewhere. I have literally had this box sitting on the back of my chair for like a week. I've been meaning to open it and I, I just wanted to wait until I could do a proper video because this is my very first unboxing video and I'm really excited about it. Um, there's a lot of, it's been handled quite, quite a bit. Um, this is very different than my first box with them. I think, I'm not sure what happened, but we're gonna get into here. Please be good, okay, good. So there was, oh, this is so sweet. So they actually covered it with bubble wrap, so even though the box isn't in the greatest shape, at least they, they were nice enough to put it in bubble wrap. I think they probably anticipated that it wouldn't be. This is really nice. I think it kept it really, really, um, Really well packaged, and we have, looks like there's, there's a little card box. Ooh, I love, I love bubble wrap. Oh my gosh, so satisfying. <laughs> Here we go. I don't wanna just tear this thing open, so. Opening, and then I'll bubble wrap at the same time. Oh, so tactile. Ta -da! Oh my gosh, so this is amazing. So I purchased the Mossery some time ago, and it came in this really nice, this really nice box but they've since upgraded to a print, which is really special. It's such an upgrade. There's also this Mostover, Mossery Impromptu, like I think these are like drawing prompts. Let's take a look at what these are. Ooh, Mostover. Oh, that's fun. It's, I think these are supposed to be probably Mossery's answer to um, doing their own. And this is, oh, these are fun. They have like daily ones, also for week one, week two, week three. Oh, great. Oh, and I, I'm not sure if you're supposed to draw in in here, but this is a really fun deck of cards. Just any month that has 31 days in it. So I think it doesn't it doesn't have to be limited to October. It could probably be with any, any 31 days. Let's get into the actual unboxing. These are really sweet covers. They're very, um, very, very cute. And we also have this one right here, the undated horizontal. Ooh. So it is about the same. It's dark blue instead of this one, which is magenta. This is the vertical. Vertical one versus, let's see. Ooh. The horizontal. And I like that they lay flat. Like they lay pretty, pretty nicely flat. <laughs> I didn't use that page very often. But I like the amount of space that you have for every day. You also have like things like a grid, which is really nice. So like if I were to attract information, I can keeping like lining figures together. And there's also a good amount of space for Saturday and Sunday. The fact that Saturday and Sunday have the same amount of space as all of the other days, it's really nice. And I think it just relates to how a lot of people still work in the weekends. I, I treat the weekend just as much. I mean, this is also the same size, but you don't get as much space as you do for like these. Um, the horizontal one also has hours. So it starts at six until 10, 11. 11 p.m. and you every line represents one hour. The vertical layout does not have any hours. It just has a week and a day and a lot of space. So I think it's pretty good. I Let me check the paper. I think the paper is about the same. It's still about the same weight. You still have those extra pages in the beginning. Habit trackers. Um, and I think having to turn to the pages makes it hard for me to go back and forth. I, I, I can't I can't begin to tell you the amount of excuses that I probably have for not finishing it. Other than I bought a new one and hopefully it'll work. And first impressions that I get from this is it's it need you still have to fill in the dates. You still have to fill in the dates for every single day, just like the undated half 
weekly vertical. Still the same great material. It seems very hefty and I love that it will probably fit into my notebook already. So there is that. Now I'm very excited about these next ones. Let's see, I, I, there's no clue on which one this one is. What I love about these is that you start, you have like a really great box to work from because this is like really well made. So let's, let's see how it go like through here. And then go like this. Ah, ooh, I had it point in the right direction. Cool too. Mossery Inktober. Okay, so they actually call it Inktober here. And in this one they call it Mostober. So it's really interesting. And then it says breathe from Malaysia. And they also give a little discount code for 15% off my next purchase. And it's invalid until 30 November. So I'm not sure if I'll get through these notebooks before then, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Um, so this is, what is this, a little notebook? Oh, this is really great. You get to see little um, examples of other artists. I like this, it's a little handy, handy little thing. But this is um, something that has like a little gradient. I think the gradient is looking pretty good. It's very matte. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, have the original one and it didn't feel like this. And that's because I got the plastic cover that goes over it. So this is very smooth and it makes me not worried about handling it. But for this one, without the cover, it tends to feel very much like, like craft material and it's very matte. So if you're handling it a lot or you tend to have very oily hands, it might impact the, the material. Oh great, so this is the sketchbook I got. Okay, the paper is very, you have these additional pages in the beginning and I'm worried because opening the pages and I, I don't know, I, this is my first spiral notebook from Mossery and opening the pages is kind of hard in the beginning and I guess it's like catching Maybe I just am not used to spiral notebooks. But the weight of this is very thick. Look at this. You can play t t tennis with this, page, with this page, how stiff this is. This is the Aurora sketchbook. It's a hardcover. It's the mixed media paper at 224 GSM. It has 35 sheets, 70 pages. And this is the mixed media paper. And it's very stiff. I think it can handle paint really nicely. I think it will probably handle ink very well. There's a little bit of tooth to it, which will make like colored pencils really nice. I kind of even like how smooth it is on the back. Like there's definitely some, some beauty to this and I can see why a lot of people would use it. But what I'm worried about is right here. This is starting to look a little wrinkled and I had just opened it. So I'm not sure where how this came to be, this wrinkling. It's not happening too much on this side, but there's this little wrinkle here. And I'm sure that was going to come anyways. I just wish it came from me because it's kind of it's kind of sad to like see that happening already. What I need to get used to doing is just turning the pages because it's catching a little bit and it's making it a little difficult to turn a page and it's making me, it, it makes me feel like this is very um, delicate of a, of a notebook. So I think just being better about um, opening it would be better. And if you have this notebook, and if you have some clues or tips about how to open the sketchbook that you might know or have, uh, let me know in the comments below and help me understand <laughs> the spiral sketchbook. I also, but it feels very hefty. Um, and for some reason, the, the corners have been pushed in a little bit. It doesn't look like it was from anybody, like from dropping or anything like that. It just looks like that's just how the pages were pressed. Like there's a little bit of like some like indentation here. I don't even, I wouldn't know to put, to fill in these pages. Cause I think the, these pages where you fill in information, inspiration board, words to live by, values and beliefs. Those are things that I would expect from the planner, but not from a sketchbook. I don't know if I'll fill that in again twice. I really like the material, the matteness of the material. But since it's going to be traveling around with me, I'm, I might put this plastic cover here because I, I travel so much and I don't want this to be a problem. And then you also have like the Mossery logo, which is, um, I think the print material for the gradient, there's no banding. It's kind of more of like, um, like a powder gradient, which is really nice and very, very soft. And it feels, it looks pretty good. It doesn't look pixelated or, and there's no banding in any way. The gradient's really nice. Also, the silver detail is really beautiful. It's not embossed. It's kind of like a flat silver detail. And these are for like personalization, but I think the original one 
was also flat. Yeah, they're not embossed in any way. So not embossed, this is embossed. This is looking really good. This, ooh, this is really feeling really nice. I think this is a very like, I can go travel with this kind of notebook. So I'm very excited about this. Ooh, and what's this? Shapes of you, what is this? Oh, these are, oh, these are, and these are stickers from a survey. Comparing both of these together for traveling, what I, what I really like about this new one is the fact that you, you can kind of open it and like paint directly on it as it's folded. Problem with the Pentallic is when you're trying to do that for this one, you have to, there's a lot of effort that needs to be done in order for it to stay fit to want to close. Out something like a binder clip or any other kind of clip, it makes it, it just takes a little bit more effort to sit for a while and paint. Whereas this one, I'm kind of excited. It'll probably stay open and just do its job while I'm painting, as well as just perfectly still while I'm trying to do something like an Instagram post or something like that. Overall, I'm very excited for the Mossery. I think it's going to be great. Um, and we'll find out with more use, but that those are my first impressions of that one. Well, this last one is, I think, I'm trying to think, oh, this is my morning, this is going to be my morning pages notebook. I'm really excited about this morning pages. Uh, if you haven't heard about it yet, it is something that, um, that I, that you can learn about in the artist way. Ooh, I love that it's facing me already. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, and it's another token of appreciation. Is it probably, I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna guess, it's another 15% off. Yeah, and it's valid until the end of November of this year. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This one looks like, Okay, so it looks like they're all, there is like a slight like indent in the cover and I think this one has a little bit of, it's like a little bit rubbery, I think. But that's just something that I'm experiencing with this one compared to this one. This is like very like craft paper, like craft paper and there's a little bit of like a texture to this one. I'm not sure why that is. Like this is my finger compared to so I don't, I don't know why I'm, I think that sound will give you a clue of like how it feels. The details of it, it has a similar like speckle gradient for like this fade of the shadow. This is something that I, I see every time I'm outside of my, in my room. It's really calming, so I, I chose this design for that reason, something to like greet me. And I also have good morning on it for, since this is gonna be my morning pages notebook. Mossery has really strong, like really dependable, straps to keep it together and the pages upon first glance they don't look indented or anything they look like it's in oh, it's like in pristine condition like nobody has handled this at all oh this one doesn't show any creasing on the left excited about this because these are these are pretty wide they're definitely not like college ruled size lines but they're they're wide enough because I tend to not be able to read my writing when it's too close together anyways. Also what I'm doing right now is what I do for most thread books that are pretty thick. Every single page I kind of like make a little crease. I think that they tend to open up a little bit better over time that way versus just trying to go at it um, and then opening them up all at one time. Looks like it's going to be a perfect book for my morning pages. So in comparison with the dotted notes that I used before, this is the half yearly planner. If we're looking at the size comparison of these two, it's about, it's a little bit more, less than half. So 96 pages versus 192 pages. The, the lines of the grid is slightly smaller, the lines in the notebook. So you probably have fewer lines in the ruled notebook versus the grid. Um, there's also no top heading. And I use that area probably to indicate what day it is. So since it's like a daily practice, I would put every single day, um, the full date on there and fill it out for three pages. And I'm just gonna start writing my name. Feels like it's handling really nicely. It handles this fountain pen really well. Uh, and I don't wanna touch it because it might not be dirty. Yeah, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> don't, let, let your fountain pens dry. <laughs> give them give them the chance to dry um, and I don't even think that's the paper's fault it's just not it's just my lack of confidence in patience so 
I think this is going to be another welcome addition of the notebook. So each of these three notebooks will represent different parts of my creative practice. Planner will definitely help me plan all my projects and maintain my priorities. Sketchbook, this is meant to represent all the different journeys and those moments in which I can, I can be present and just appreciate the things that are around me exactly as they are. And this last one is the notebook. It represents probably my new step into doing something like the morning pages every day. Taking the time every morning to write my stream of consciousness is something that I'm, I'm new to, but looking very much forward to. I think in the few days that I did do it with this other notebook, it was already something that I really appreciated doing as a practice because I, I, it was my opportunity to listen to my own voice. And there's no backspace when you're writing something like that. You can't just delete it and edit it, you have to move forward. And I think that's a really important lesson whenever we're creating work that we're not showing it to anyone quite yet. So maybe it's an opportunity for us to just play. In the three notebooks, thank you so much for being here today. I will see you on the next video.